Oh, is that why it was unreachable? Bruh. Why is it even necessary to click deliver suit here? Is that... is that steel? It is. Why does it say we have no steel? Probably because it's reserved for repairing or something. Okay, so... If temperature is above 100C... Then we're going to pump hydrogen through here. Which is gonna cool this room and heat up the rest of the base a bit, but it's better than letting this get broken. But if it's not necessary, if, uh, if passive cooling is enough to maintain this after we fix it, then we're just never going to pump hydrogen through here. Cool, cool, cool. What temperature are we down to? 330 something degrees. It's printing time. Cooking, digging, operating, cooking, research, and farming, digging, ties. No, we're good. Let's just have some random pips wandering around. Why not? Welcome to the chat room. Did we lose connection? Did you ever check what the peak temps were in that room? In here, it was like 650 or something. Uh, when we first noticed it today. It's currently down to below 300. We did stream says two minutes. Oh no. Unfortunate. Stream went down for a second or two and then restarted. That's weird. Uh, I don't think that was my internet because if my internet went down it would have been definitely more than a minute or two. Like five or ten minutes at least. Pretty much only happens, like, after midnight these days, anyway. It's been happening. I was just going around Twitch. But what about when it was working? Oh, uh, when it was working, it would only ever get to, like, I don't know, one... 30 degree steam or something. Haven't seen it happen to a partner yet though, rip. Oh no. Alright, we'll come back to this. Um, I'd really like to work on this uh, solar system today, but steel... Oh, we got 400 kilo of steel. Hey, it's happening. We finally got a round of, uh, malt. Why are you glum? Its needs aren't being met. What needs? What needs aren't being met? You're just arbitrarily glum by the looks of it. How many critters do we have? Eight? Tame, groomed, happy. Is it because they're not groomed yet? Do I need to... Prioritize this. Maybe I should take another rancher. Let's just check that everyone's got their jobs sorted out. It looks like yes.
interesting. 130 is well within self-cooled temps, yeah. Uh, the temperature of the steam doesn't get ahead of the self-cooling normally. I don't know what stopped it at some point. And it's it stopped a while ago <laughs> because it takes it, it would have taken a while for this to get up to six hundred and fifty something degrees. So now I, I really want to see this get back to normal temperatures because I want to get a feel for exactly what we should set this um thermosensor to. Because I don't actually want hydrogen running through here when and if uh, this thing is able to self-cool. Still, if we're close to that temperature, I guess it's not pumping that much heat back into the base. So this is... 16. We've got 500 steel. Fantastic. That's actually enough for one more... I think, I'll, I think I will get one more bunker door, because some of these ladders got busted earlier, and as much as it's cheap to fix them, I would rather not have to do that. Also, there's a whole lot of iron that they're taking over here. Why don't we um, flatten this out a bit? Yeah, of course it's not cooling at 100% at the moment, because it's, uh, every time it sucks in steam, it goes overheat again. Uh, it is getting faster and faster, of course, as we get cooler. And now it's actually down to the max temperature, uh, the temperature where this would work at maximum efficiency, if we were keeping it cool aggressively. There's only really like three projects that I care about right now, and all of them are a bit dependent on waiting. 37.5 cycles till we see if this works. Uh, why have we got hot steam in here right now? It's still 18 cycles until... What? It's not just the heat from this battery or something. Where is this heat coming from? The only active cooling loop we've got in here... ...is to keep the steam turbines cool. What? So we've got a passive cooling loop, uh... Like we've basically got passive cooling as well as active cooling here. To make absolutely sure it won't break. I probably need to change some settings here so we're not wasting energy. What have we got? If the temperature of the oil is above 95... Run the Thermo Aqua Tuner. It's coming back at just over 95. What if I literally just set this to 96? That might literally be it. Uh, and the Thermo Regulators run if the temperature is above 95 degrees also. How about we set that one to 96? And see if this whole thing calms down and stops wasting energy. Because we're obviously not going to get as much energy back as what we put into 
the thermos. Uh, what's this other condition? The battery has to be sufficiently full to run the thermo aqua tuna. Uh, but now that crude oil temp is going up. 97? Same with the hydrogen. I just want to keep this room cool enough to make sure the steam turbines will work. And nothing else. There's just enough heat to run a few of these steam turbines. Why don't I try setting this at like 99 degrees? Let's see if it quickly goes up to that temp. How are we doing back here? Oh, eruption. Well, that's going to keep things warm for a little while. What temperature are we at over here? 165 or so? It's getting there. How long till this goes dormant? 14.5 cycles. Okay. That got built kind of quickly. And that should be the end of our ladders taking damage. Um, I believe... Yeah, we figured out the height for these Robo Miners. Oh, printing time again. Alright, can we get... Nope. I guess we'll take the glass. Keep an eye out for a good rancher, because they might not have been keeping up. Okay. What is this made out of? Window tile diamond. Uh, it will actually work better if I use mesh tiles here for the amount of light that comes through, but until I've got the whole thing working perfectly, um, I think the diamond window tiles are going to be a lot safer. So we basically go with this pattern repeating indefinitely, and the neighbors. Uh, you can't see it here, but the angle of the robo miners, uh, the neighbors will be able to clean up what's above its friends. Uh, we're definitely not making this out of lead, though. That's, that's a no. Steel would be better. And how much is that? 200 each, 2, 4, 600. We were going to have the steam turbines below the solar panels. We can make this out of anything because it's going to be self-cooling. Still, we've got a million copper, so why not? I can't remember how many steam turbines uh, that we need for X solar panels. It's not that many, though. I think one to four is probably more than enough. Rancher, builder, and whole slave? Whole slave? Oh, no. How far across is this going to go if I... Too far. I definitely want a gap... 
and maybe build some other stuff here, and then maybe more solar panels to the right. But I think I will go all the way to the left with the solar panels. Well, first of all, we need more, more of these. Uh, but yeah, I think I will try one steam turbine for four solar panels and see how that goes. Unfortunately, there's no middle. Igneous rock is probably fine for this. And we're gonna run... What's the melting point of copper ore? Is it lower than copper? Liquid 1083 degrees, that's probably fine. It's the same. Okay. And we're gonna have a passive uh, cooling loop. So let's see. Induction panel. I kind of want it to go clockwise. I guess this can stay here. That'll have to go there. Until we expand it, that'll go there. And we're gonna have some insulated pipe. Wait, what? Oh, liquid, 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 liquid. <laughs> insulated pipe. Igneous rock should be fine. Uh, and probably overkill, but we might do a whole S-bend through here with the radiant pipe. Or I could cheap out and use liquid pipe, a regular liquid pipe, and expect that'll probably be enough to exchange temperature. Space the final frontier meat steam generator? Indeed. Um, so I definitely want the... Well, normally I would have the steam turbines able to cool each other. But I know that we're going to have... I mean, one to four is probably enough. If not, we can add more. We could even go like one to two. That's probably massively overkill. But uh, if this is more than enough... Uh, if this is going to be more than enough steam turbines to delete the heat that comes in from the regolith, then one of them cooling themselves should be sufficient, right? And we don't have to run pipes all over the place? We'll see. Liquid vent... Copper should be fine. And this is going to connect here. And we'll need to have the not insulated pipe. Uh, 
bridge across that. Come back this way. And back that way. Oh, I thought the autosave was still going. Uh, and at some point, we'll need to have a liquid reservoir just so that we can automate input output. Um, if I put it here, that's obviously not going to work. What if I tweak this a little bit? Gold amalgam is probably not okay here. This will have to be steel. We've already got our drop off these, so I don't have to do that up there. What's this temperature down to? 120 something. Cool. Uh, it looks like setting this to 100 degrees is totally fine, actually. Yeah, that seems to be working. Alright, let's let people in to repair this. And we should be able to get rid of that power transformer once this one's fixed. When's the next eruption? Uh, 0.3 cycles. Perfect. We'll get to witness it. A glacier wolf. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Where'd that heat come from? Just running the batteries and transformer, I guess. I might just leave that there so that if something like this happens again, we can easily and quickly put a transformer back. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I jammed some of these machines in here so that we could siphon their heat um, and recycle a little bit of that as power. What are we printing? Uh, nothing? Okay. We already let a bunch of eggs lie around. We don't need another pipsqueak. Erupting in 20 seconds. And I'm curious to see whether we'll have to put some gas through here. I mean, we've seen this work before, I doubt it. Temperature for the steam on this tile, for example, is... Well, it is peaking over 200. We are letting some hydrogen in through here. Um, yeah, I don't really see a way to... have my cake and eat it too, whereby I don't have this emergency system, but it doesn't put a little hydrogen through here when it's not really needed. Uh, it would have to be a lot more complicated, but I think this is fine. Self-cooling cannot handle steam temps over 140. It's not that much steam, though. It dips back down very quickly. And yes, it has worked before. I mean, I could demonstrate that by cutting this off. It erupts in 0.8 cycles. Let's let it calm down again. And then I'll cut off this uh, hydrogen supply. If it was continuously that high a temperature, it would be a problem. But it comes in bursts. And as long as the water isn't going to get so hot that it actually flashes to steam, this will 
peak at a temperature where it won't work, and then the water going through it is going to calm it back down again. And it'll sputter, but it won't get to the point where it won't actually work from one eruption. Or a series of eruptions this close together. Um with two steam turbines. If we had more steam turbines, it could absolutely keep up. Like, you you can expand this for n number of steam, tur uh, steam turbines. But obviously you don't necessarily want to do that. Okay. Is this about as cold as it's going to get? Well, we're not bringing in more hydrogen right now, so that'll do. For a test. Let's wait for the next eruption. It's not going to happen in one eruption. The point is that during the time that it's taking in 200 degrees C, the turbine's producing significantly more heat, of course. Um, but yeah, the basically the steam turbine peaks at a temperature where it can't work, but then the water continues to go through it, uh, and then it gets back down cold enough to run itself a little bit again. This one obviously gets to run a lot more because uh, it gets more time with the water covering it, basically. Oh, steam temp is below 125. Perfect. Steam temp below 125. Cool. We've reached the point where... Have we? We haven't quite got we haven't quite got to the point where these two are idle before the next eruption. But I think it's probably good enough for a test. Probably. Rising pressure, there we go. And when we see this go green, that would be when the gas would be allowed through. Just after these get hot enough to stop working at 100%. So they keep peaking, uh, they keep flickering active or not active, but they are working. We've got 170 degree steam in here, 180. How long until the next eruption? 0.9 cycles. We'll come back to this in a minute. Alright, back to this uh, design. I think I want... It doesn't actually matter what kind of pipe I use up here, does it? Because it won't exchange heat with the surroundings. Uh, and I was trying to figure out how I want to do input output here. I guess probably just like this. Would be fine. So we can use this to control adding oil to the system as we keep expanding it automatically. That should be fine. Um, I'll probably want some means to enter without letting gas out. How hot is this going to get? How hot can this get? Uh, this only cares about melting point. Copper is like a thousand degrees. That should be fine. And then we'll have vacuum here. Do I want any machines in this room? Well, obviously in this room the answer is yes. So we'll have some... Uh, 
heavy block conductive joint plate. Maybe I'll move this over tile or something. Should get out of the habit of pausing. We're trying to let some time pass as well. And then... I want it to look neat as well. In so far as we can. I could shove these over a couple of tiles to make that work. We're definitely not putting a steam turbine right here, so that should be fine. We'll put a reservoir right about here, made out of steel. Should be fine. Uh, that doesn't need to be insulated though. In fact, I would rather it wasn't. Wait, what's this? Sandstone. Is that going to be a problem? Sandstone. Uh, doesn't. Oh, here we go. Sandstone solid. 926 degrees. I don't think that's an issue. Let me just have a peek back here real quick. Steam turbines are still running. Temperature of steam is... about 130, high 120s. And we're still not putting any more... Uh, hydrogen through. Next eruption in five seconds. Let's go. Maybe I should put the thermo sensor down here. Uh, if I could fit it anywhere. Yeah, here we go. That's that's gonna work. Um, what's the temperature that these things can survive? Power transformer seventy five plus two hundred. I think they're all two hundred seventy five degrees overheat. Yes. Okay, so what if we put a thermosensor here, set to, I don't know, 250 or something? Except I think some of the steam is going to peak kind of high in the normal course of events. No. No, I think we can assume if it gets to, like, 225, then something's wrong. Uh, if above, let's say, 220, then send hydrogen through. And that way we should be able to have our safety backup. Um, wait, why? Why is that sending it through now if that's red? Or it was just there already? What? Why are you sending gas through? That was a little weird, but okay. If the temperature in here starts running away, we're going to let hydrogen through to cool the steam turbines. Otherwise, they are going to self-cool. 
I like that a lot better. We've got a, a much nicer buffer so that this doesn't sputter on and off when it's not really necessary. And we don't need any complicated logic like a latch or something to try and figure out when we might need this. Nice. What are we printing? Uh, nothing. Cubist knit. Sure. Who's gonna get the suit? Harvey UK. We've still got a few people without a snazzy suit, actually. Let's make a few. Uh, where do we do that? Do I not have a machine? To make a nice suit? Perhaps not. Stations... Textile loom. There we go. Okay. Uh, I was going to put a bunch of batteries in here. Eventually. They're going to have to be made out of steel, so this is going to be when we're kind of... Kind of post-scarcity for steel, but basically the heat from the batteries is going to be consumed, uh, is going to be used to power the base a little bit as well. Um, I also want a transformer in this room. So we will be wanting... We will be wanting heavy watt conductive joint plates like so. Actually... I guess we don't really need one here, but we will need one here. Heavy watt conductive wire... I think this sort of bridges anyway, but... Well, you know what? Let's try it. I think I did run that experiment. So we're basically going to have heavy watt conductive wire, like so. And... need to get it up here as well. And I suppose if this is all vacuum, that's probably fine actually, even if it looks a bit tacky. Yeah, I don't think we need this one. Supply ranch, nope. Wait, what? Basically, well, at some point, I'm going to have to have maybe here. Oh, no. Don't tell me I'm going to have to move these all, all over like two tiles. Because I'm going to want the first solar panels to be directly... to line up with one of these bunker doors. The idea was... I think it's four solar panels line up perfectly with some number of bunker doors. Yeah, we're one off. Oh no. Well, 
Or I could move them over a couple of tiles. Use Blueprint to copy it and then move it? I would, but last time I touched Blueprint, we had a crash. One-off indeed. Uh, okay, it's not going to be that hard, but still. Okay, I want these... I probably, yeah, I definitely want the entrance to to do maintenance and expand this stuff nice and close to this ladder, which lines up with our main bus. So I think, and I'd, I'll probably just leave these closed indefinitely. At this rate, I'll end up replacing them with bunker tiles. So, I think we want to start here. And steam turbine right about here. Bridge like this. And radiant pipes like this. Actually, maybe that should be insulated. Why are we paused? We're not paused. Insulated pipe, liquid vent. Um, gonna need to move these over. Reservoir out of steel, right about here. A power transformer out of steel, right about here. Probably don't need a big one though, to be honest. They're actually the same cost. Huh. If we're going to make them out of steel, the big one is the same cost as the small one. That's weird. Okay, heavy block conductive, like so, and then these are going to have to move over, this many tiles, We're going to want steel, uh, where is it, Robo Miners, directly under these things, we'll be able to cover each other and cover anything that lands up here. And for the moment this is far enough. Use the insulated tiles. This part. What was that about? And what's getting flooded? Oh, that's that thing. I think we literally just built this to test something. That's fine. How long until this thing's ready? 27 cycles. That's too many. How's our passive cooling going? 172 degrees steam. Next eruption is 0.2 cycles. It's slowing down a bit. How many more cycles, how many more eruptions until this thing stops? 5.8 cycles until dormant.
Okay, then. It's actually still kind of working. I should add a notification to this, because I want to know when and if. Sorry about that. Uh, when and if... Oh, there it is, it's green. Alright, some hydrogen is coming through now. Pulling down our steam turbines. Not much more than necessary. Never mind. Alright, back to the space build. Uh, let's see, this is just wire. And I think I want it here. If I leave this... If this is going to be bunker tiles right here, is that going to be enough to prevent... Well, why don't I just... Bunker tile like this, actually. What, what the... What do you mean, bunk? Oh, I have to pick a... Okay. Yeah, if I do bunker tiles like that... That should be fine. And then we need the heavy watt going all the way across here. And then heavy, heading down here. And since we can run the heavy watts straight through the solar panels and they work as walls, we don't need a heavy watt conductive up here. We'll just do some insulated tile. That looks kind of weird though. Maybe I'll fill it out arbitrarily. Or even like this for the sort of symmetry of it. Oh, I need to move this. Okay, so conduct conduction panel is going to go here, I think. Pipe. Pipe, I say. Um, we probably really don't need radiant pipe for this. In fact, I'm pretty sure it'll do absolutely nothing. tried using those conduction panels, I wasn't impressed. How so? Uh, and I think I'll just kind of connect it like this so that all those are covering the same space. Even if it's quite slow, this will be more than enough though, I think. we're just taking the heat from the robo miners um i used to have oil splashed across this so that we could take the heat from them which meant that we were taking all the heat from the regolith as well but if all we're doing is trying to keep the robo miners below 275 degrees um i think this will be enough even if it even if they individually don't conduct that well. Because it actually takes a really long time for the Robo Miners to heat up like that. And I might set up some automation, uh, some auto sweepers if we want to do something with the regolith as well. I might even just drop the regolith in this room for the heat. Cool it down to 125 degrees. I 
think we're almost ready to actually start building this. Alright. Should we give the dupes access? Uh, should probably finish these, um, a couple more of these bunker doors first. And apparently we still have no steel. That's gonna take some time. Doesn't take a whole lot of hydrogen to cool those steam turbines down. In hindsight, I probably would have done like four steam turbines for this upper volcano. We could add more steam, I think. How much do we have? 15 kilograms? Uh, that's not a lot. How did that happen? Or did I just never add that much? Why don't we try adding some more... some more liquid? So it takes more energy to heat it up. I believe I need to keep it below 150 kilograms per tile for the copper volcano to still work. Can you show the numbers for the volcano? Uh, sure, you mean this stuff? Was there ever a time when I ended up removing water from here for some reason? I don't remember. ATPSS? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So I went all stupid with the new geotuners. Put a bunch on my salt geyser. Well, so yeah. Geotuners. I vaguely remember that. The thing I do remember from the, uh, the update announcement was the conduction panels. I was excited about those, but I haven't, um... Hey, attribute increase. Good job, Shmoa. Why is this busted? What? Who's... Are you hurt? Hold on. Ineligible. No? What's this red bar? I, I can't tell what might be damaged here. I've not figured out the new panel. Oh, it's pretty straightforward. Adding steam is the same as what I meant by adding thermal mass. Yeah, normally, normally I try and keep it pretty close to the maximum that we can have in here, but apparently, uh, I don't know, I don't remember, maybe we removed some steam from here at some point for some reason. We need to be a little bit careful. Also, that's obviously going to cool down the steam turbines. It's coming in at 40 degrees, though. That's nasty. What the hell? Damn. Uh, uh, is our active cooling broken, or is it just not enough? I think we just don't have enough power to support it properly. 
Okay. Anyway, let's keep an eye on how much steam we've got here. We're already up to... Well, it's peaking at 38 on that tile. Let's try stopping it once it gets over 100. That should be more than enough slack. 100 uh, kilograms of steam in maybe the most remote tile behind this or in front of this cycle sensor. Have to know what's the deal with the bridges in your active cooling loop? The bridges. Oh, do you mean all of these to the left? They're just there so that it's really, really easy to add more thermo, uh, thermo aqua tuners later on. That's all. I built it, I should think, way bigger than we're ever going to need. That makes sense, smart. Thank you. Yeah, I, I should hope we don't actually end up needing... <laughs> What is this? Ten? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine thermo aqua tuners uh, to actively cool the base. But who knows? Is that crude oil? It is indeed. Uh, we're still only at 36 kilograms in this tile. What about over here? 40 something. 36. And thank you for the follow. ATP. May I ask why you're running crude oil in it? Yeah, it's uh, it's just a really easy to obtain coolant that is that has a kind of a wide temperature range. Um, it's obviously not the best coolant, but the price is right, and it'll exchange temperature with the environment enough to get the job done. Uh, did we just empty the water? What the hell? Oh, wow. We need more water. Um... Um... I think I'll let a little bit more water go in here, and then we'll stop it for now. This is maybe not the highest priority, to add more water to this. We do have water down here. Well, we've got plenty of water up here. It's just that we're not letting it in based on the temperature is the thing. Oh, well, we are letting it in, but I saw power problems. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think all that heat that we pumped around the base to fix this might have been even more than I thought it was. Um, can we get some... Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get some relatively cold water. Temporarily. Uh, just a manual airlock. Let's get some relatively cold water input. Where's the input going to be? Well, we'll figure that out in a moment. If I put a bridge here, is that going to allow that dusk cap to continue being there? Where is our water input? I could input it. On this end where the polluted water goes in, because it'll just go through the sieves. Is that okay? Yeah, this pipe I was using as input earlier. That should be fine, except how do I get to it with one bridge? Uh, 
Uh, and then we need a bunch of ladders over here. And then some electricity. We'll steal it from here. Is that going to be reachable? I think it is. Basically, Whale, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Love, Kelly. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome also. Only if you're not playing Spaced Out, no crude on my starting asteroid. Yeah, Spaced Out sounds scary. Sounds difficult. Sounds like you should probably master the, the base game first is my impression, which is what I'm trying to do. That is an interesting combination of emotes. It says it has no automation wire connection, and it's right. And we don't care. So suppress current notifications. Um, but yeah, we could maybe prioritize all of this construction, because being without water could be bad. Uh, digging, ranching, build... oh, hello. Digging, ranching, building. Doesn't sound too bad. Plant murderer? <laughs> oh no. Increased germ resistance, increased medicine, increased cuisine... Decreased food morale bonus. I don't really want that. Let's take the spicy tofu. You can play the DLC in classic mode though, and it works out really well. Oh yeah? 5 people made a mess? Oh no. Wait, why? We've got... Working... Toilets? Question mark? You're joking. It's... Wait, wait, wait. What is this? Didn't I go out of my way to deliberately measure so that we'd have... Eight tiles? Yeah, this is literally... This should be 50-50. What the hell? Why are only pipes like this? Why? Why are you like that? Then it's just going to prioritize this one. Oh, I hate these things. I think that bridge on the right prevents it from going down? What do you mean? Because this has the output on this side? That's dumb. Wait, let me test this theory. I can do that instantly. You're right. You're right. So I guess if we bridge this yet again to bring it back here... That'd probably work. And this is why our base is full of pea water now. If pipes ever get confused, everything stops. This is true. Uh, and that might mean we have more water than we thought, which is good. Still, I'll take in this, uh, this water, absolutely. Derek Cullen Slow, <laughs> thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Gonna have to have people able to reach that, of course. Is our C 
sacred tower of waters. Water, polluted water, and salt water. One on top of the other. Although you can't actually see the water. Okay, how long till this? 23 cycles, that's too many. How dare you. How are we going with this? Uh, well, actually. I think if I get one more bunker door, this should be safe. Probably. And we can finally start building our first module of solar panels. Also, did you know that polluted water has almost 2.5 times the cooling power of crude? If you mean the, uh, like, the heat conductivity, then yes. It's also about the same as salt, uh, not salt water, brine, I think it was. Uh, they might be about the same. Uh, it's a nice side grade whereby you get the advantage of never having to deal with the off gas if something goes wrong. Uh, but yeah, crude is more to the point, has a wide temperature range. And it's very, very easy to get enough. Besides which, we don't need extreme conductivity when we're covering such a large area. Building lacks resources. Oh, this. Yeah, well, of course. That's... Wait, farm tile lacks resources? Don't tell me we have no dirt. We have zero dirt? What are all of these Paku doing? We not have a way to deal with the polluted dirt that they spit out? I thought we did. Um, polluted dirt. Well, hang on, let's check first. I think it... I'm pretty sure Paku give us polluted dirt, right? Yes. Yes, they do. That's why we have them. Polluted dirt. Uh, becomes regular dirt by... I believe it's the... The pips, actually. Why do we only have two pips? Oh, no. Don't tell me. No, 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 no. Our hydro farms for the arbitraries need dirt. We need to run... Uh, we need the arbitraries to grow so the pips can eat directly from the arbitraries and turn it into dirt, right? Wait, uh... Pip. Pip, pip, pip. Pips. Yeah, they eat arbitrary and they crap out dirt. And our arbitraries are not getting the dirt that they need for us to ultimately make more dirt. What are we going to do? I need an injection of dirt to fix things. Uh, that's dirt. That, that's a little bit of dirt. I think we searched for this previously. What am I looking for? Organic? No. Cultivable soil. There we go. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Gimme, gimme, gimme. All of the dirt, please. Compost patterns. Pea dirt into dirt? Uh, you might be right. It does produce heat. And we also get uh, lumber out of this, although we've got way more than we'll ever need, probably. Oh yeah, this was our backup power. How's that been doing? Um, it takes in petroleum or ethanol. We've got tons of ethanol. And it triggers when this battery gets low enough or empty. 
triggers when this battery is empty and activates or it stops again when it's full. And this battery is linked up to the main power network. So presumably right now we've got plenty of power. Disabled by automation grid. Okay, we are still bottlenecking on power to run this thing. To cool the base. But I think we can probably catch up over time. Uh, more to the point, where am I going to get the rest of this dirt? How about here? And here. And that's probably enough, to be honest. I hope it's enough. Oh, here we go. Alright. So we've prioritized uh, the first step in our reproduction of dirt. Derek Lernslow, welcome, welcome. I think I already said so. Alright, so growth halted irrigation. Oh. Because we're waiting on the polluted water. There it goes. Growth halted irrigation. There we go, growing branches. We've only got two pips right now. Three, actually. So I guess that's probably fine for the moment. Um, I would like to maybe reshape... our polluted water flow so that we keep some to go into the arbitrines. Or is this just going to be enough, actually? It looks like it is. And I just saw some dirt get produced. Fantastic. Nice. Alright, crisis averted? I hope. Oh, these are already done. Nice, nice, nice. I think I will be just a little bit more pragmatically paranoid here and build one more of these before we give the dupes access to this gigantic blueprint. Maybe I shouldn't expose this to asteroids. Let's be a little bit extra careful there. But yeah, we've got quite a bit of iron up here now. Oh, we shouldn't need that uh, random pair of bunker tiles anymore. Let's grab that 200 steel back. Operating, researching, supplying, digging, suit wearing, farming. We don't want a bottomless stomach. Take some earth leaf seed. Could we please get that polluted water <laughs> taken away? Okay. Is this actually getting supplied? No, it couldn't be yet. I wish I could see stats on our throughput of malt that's turning into steel. Well, turning into lime so we can make steel. Which is sadly our main bottleneck. Uh, we do have a bunch of eggshells in here.
Could I perhaps access this without letting all the nasty gas out? Not really? Because they're just going to dig this out before... What if I do a pair of airlocks? No, what if I just build this before I dig up here? That makes sense. Okay. So we're going to want some ladders. We're going to want... That'll do. Some flimsy wire to connect over here. And we're going to want to make sure we put that there before we build the... Uh, the airlock door, because otherwise the dupes won't be able to reach the connection point. And then only when that's done, we'll dig through here. Grab all those eggshells. Probably dig through here as well. Oh, there goes some copper. Yeah, we've got quite an obscene amount of copper by now, actually. It says we've only got 2.4 tons, but I see 11.8 tons right here. What's up with that? Or is it counting all of the copper builds that we've planned out against us? That might be it. Cool. Uh, let's connect this and let the dupes get to it. That is going to be quite the build. Let's drop the priority just below normal. So if there's anything else that I mark to get done, I'll do that first because I am not expecting this to be done anytime in particular. It's going to take a while. These arbor trees are not growing most of the time. How much can they consume? Rothmore, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 70 kilograms per cycle. That's like 10... 10 tiles of fluid. I learned about two things this week and had a bunch of fun. The two gas pump. Two gas pump. I snaked magma around my base? Wait, what? And how to add a simple way to add and remove the same amount with a bridge. Why did you snake magma? Do you mean literally around your base or like through your base? What pipe can contain magma though? Couple of thousand degrees. Liquid pipe. Uh, ceramic? Additional states magma 1849 degrees. I guess if you make it out of ceramic, yeah. Etcher or something? etcher or does the insulated pipe nope I guess you just have to make it out of ceramic in air tiles air tiles do you mean ventilation 
Or are we talking something else entirely? Hmm, is there gas here? Nope. Maybe I should try... That's a weird... Um, what am I looking for? There's something that highlights neutronium as bluish. Oh, I'm heat, I'm thinking. Probably. I don't think there's actually a geyser here, is there? How would I go about exploiting the temperature of magma as an energy source? It's a finite source, but it would take a long time uh, to run out of heat, I imagine. Right? Like a, like a very long time? Also, this oil biome doesn't go down that deep. Or at least not at this point. There's a big chunk of ice in the way. Heat water with it? It is called a magma spike? Uh... If we make insulated tile out of... I guess we could always do ceramic. Obsidian goes to... 2726 degrees. It's not that common, but we could use some obsidian for it. Uh, we can always make as much ceramic as we want. It's not that cheap, but it's cheap-ish, if I remember correctly. Compared to, like, using obsidian for everything. Snazzy suit. I think there's at least four people that want a suit. You can use diamond window tiles and doors to push down to the bottom. Uh, I presume you don't mean diamond doors. That's not a thing, right? How do the doors work like that? Or I guess... I guess the... A door's just arbitrarily immune to heat or something? Tiles and doors. Who knows? Uh, what was I going to do? How much steel do we actually have? 200 kilo. Hey, we got a solar panel up here. Oh no, and a couple of airlock doors that can't work. Uh, we're going to have to put those off. Lest we can't continue with the build. Why is this one unreachable? Because they haven't made the ladders. Okay. Well, that'll take some time anyway. So, oh yeah, I was trying to check uh, what it takes to make ceramic. Clay and coal. We do have 286 tons of clay. That sounds like a lot. I wonder if it can be made. Or if we're just stuck with what we start with. Uh, polluted oxygen makes clay. And we can make polluted oxygen because we can make polluted water. So technically, uh, clay is infinite, but I'm sure just digging it out is going to go a pretty damn long way. Ranching? Researching and farming. Might not be the worst idea. 
Cutting, digging, researching. All right, what do you got? Irritable bowel. It's probably fine. As long as you don't starve to death on the bathroom farts frequently. No, I don't want to have to clean out natural gas from the base. That's, um, that's a hard no. If it were possible to do more clean and miniaturized builds to, like, atmospheric control every room, then maybe? Flagellant tubes are top tier. <laughs> no, no thank you. Um... What was I thinking of? Oh yeah, when does this work? 17.3 cycles, it's taking forever. And this one's dormant for 52. Fantastic. I definitely like this, um... Hybrid, active, and mostly passive cooling loop here. Just put in some hydrogen when we desperately need it. Connect it to the oil fish. Oh, okay. You don't like getting an insignificant amount of free natural gas power in exchange for ruined airlocks? Yeah. Exactly. Precisely. Are all of these guys happy? They seem to be. I think I literally just had to prioritize the grooming station. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna have to run whatever coolant I'm gonna use here. I've used crude oil before, it was more than enough. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to run some kind of... Well, I might just use taps, actually. Uh, bottle emptier I've used here before to get enough water in place to make the steam. But that's not going to work as well for the crude oil, because then we're just going to need a liquid pump as well. It sucks that you can't use a bottle emptier to go straight into a reservoir. Crude oil is way down here. That would be a little bit of a pain to bring up here, but no more than anything else, I suppose. Can I make coolant at this point? Is it, um... Is it much of a hassle? Uh, liquids. There we go. I wish we could do a quick uh, filter of temperature ranges for liquids, because I don't really want to know about liquid carbon, for example, at this moment. But I was thinking of... I'm guessing super coolant is going to be a bit of a pain to make still. So it's fullerene, which I have never even seen in this game. Gold, which I don't have a source for. And petroleum goes into the molecular forge. Um, I should probably keep exploring the asteroid. Maybe we will find a gold volcano? Oh, this is actually the edge already. Uh, I don't like our chances over here. I guess we can take a peek over this way, though. Let's get some ladders. And over this way also. Are they wearing Atmosuits down here? 
Yes, they are. Oh, you poor slicksters. Um... I wish I could make things easier for them. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Do you know how liquid cannot pass through a metal air tile? There is a way to pump liquid for free, almost limitless? Metal air tile, do you mean an airflow tile? Pump liquid for free. You don't just mean the fact that it'll go round in circles if we have some bridges, right? I, I take it that's not what you're referring to? That's what I used for the passive cooling uh, for this kind of build last time. Oh, how close are we to... here we go. Let's get some... Sucking duplicates that have nowhere to go into space through mechanized airlocks is poor taste. What? Airlock doors now allow duplicates safe passage without the loss of any of their mysterious fluids. Did the airlock door mod used to have a bug or something? Are you talking about the Escher Waterfall. Sounds very hacky. Yeah, I'd really like to support more arbitraries. Um... Or support the arbitraries for more than half a day or whatever it is. I think we just need more dupes for that though, right? To produce more polluted water consistently. I guess we'll get there eventually. Um, I think I would like to explore through here. Wait, is that chlorine? Let's avoid that. Building a five-wide tube to where you want, insulated slash airflow tile, a place for the liquid, then the airflow, and insulated. I can't quite picture it, but uh, it sounds weird. 15 cycles until we get to play with this. Build is getting done rather slowly, to say the least. Not an exploit game mechanics. <laughs> right. It's not cheating if it's in the game. Uh, this is done. Let's get in and grab a whole lot of eggshells so that we can make uh, lime. And therefore... Therefore, steel. I don't want them to dig this plant out. No, why are you like this? You can pump at like 200 kilograms a second. Nice. It's done when it's done, indeed. Yeah, I learned not to not to watch a build like this like a hawk. It just takes too long. Um 
just cover it in bunker doors and then let it rip and wait. Why are we off gassing this? Oh hey, our mealwood is growing again. Fantastic. Yeah, we, we're catching up again with dealing with the heat here. I just pumped too much back into the base when we fell behind dealing with the copper volcano. But that won't be a problem for a while. Um, We could maybe take in this water. In the same way, or a similar fashion, as we take in uh, salt water. Let's see, this geyser comes out at 95 degrees. This comes out at... Well, it comes out as steam. So we should probably just assume the water is like 90... 98 degrees or something. Um, we're checking the temperature here, I believe it is. Either the temperature is sufficiently low, or we're really low on water. Um, is the reason that we will bring new water in from a source that is infinite, but rather hot. I think I'll take that exact bit of... Uh, that logic that we've already got there, and probably pump in water from here as well. And where should I... I think I should probably build a nice clean container around this. But at the moment, we've got all this... When does this erupt again? We don't know. Maybe I should just rush in there and build around it right now. What's this thing need? Body temperature, air pressure. Well, you can stay. Even though you're... using up an iron ore tile. Um, it doesn't have to be that constricting, maybe, but maybe I could do a bigger container than that. Uh, this is probably fine. Or at least... Let the water fall off on both sides. I'll do an airlock. And it's not going to line up neatly with any of this, but... This one does. Unfortunate. Alright, first of all, we need some power for the airlock door. And... Cancel all that for the moment. You know what, I don't think this is actually increasing the rate at which we get any new water brought in at all. If I do this, because... We're bottlenecking on, is it cool enough, or do we have hardly any water left, as opposed to bottlenecking on this geyser. Oh well, we're just future-proofing it, I guess. A 
will be fine. Oh. They're just going in there with gas masks? They're probably getting very upset about the chlorine. Um... I should probably replace... Yeah, I th think I should probably replace this with, uh... With Atmo suits by now. Just making sure they don't have a path whereby... They could go around this way, technically. Nope, that doesn't actually go anywhere. I'm not going to loop around and do weird things, right? Can I, like, disable this so that they will stop using it? Until we replace this? Yeah, no, just go. Just decon. Go, go, go. Do you have showers? Uh, no, I do not. Not as of yet. How big is this room? Maximum size 64, room size 64. I would have to break it up. Can we put showers here? Oh, that's slightly annoying. Just have to move it though. I could do three showers here. I don't like the way that fits. Hmm. Maybe somewhere else. Showers cleanse debuffs? Oh, like uh, if they get chlorine in their eyes or something? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I got distracted. That's on me. And we're going to need a couple more Atmo suits. Uh, make him out of copper. We've got infinite copper. Showers can go in ranches. Just shower in front of the animals. Oh, we're taking polluted dirt out of here as well. And here I was just digging into this for the eggshells. Can we please get the checkpoint built first? Well, I'm using uh, the ranches for storage space already. Why are we not getting window tiles built? Pretty sure, yeah, we've got access to 10 tons of diamond. We've already dug a bunch of it out. It's just a long walk. I'm pretty sure it's just a long walk. Can they climb this? I think they can. Okay, deliver suit, deliver suit, and we've already got the oxygen going in. How's that oxygen? Probably fine. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is fine. <laughs> If it's white, they can go there. If it's red, they can't. Oh yeah, true. With the uh, digs and stuff. There it is. Plenty of diamond.
Cool, cool, cool. I heard someone gasping for air, but I didn't see where that was. Maybe I should crank up the priority on this so that they'll go grab the eggshells. Do I not have the recipe to use the eggshells here? Small poker shell malt, poker shell malt, eggshell to lime. Yeah, yeah it's already infinite. Fantastic. That's what I want to see. I'll make it like Priority 8. How much plastic do we have at this point? 7.5 tons. Beautiful. I could probably splurge a little bit up here. Gonna need to run this heavy watt wire all the way up as well. Um, conductive joint plate goes here. Actually, we're not gonna need this anymore because we've got the the bunker tiles up here. Oh, I'll leave it there for now, just in case we mess with this and break something. Or, like, if I try to replace these with bunker tiles at the wrong moment. But yeah, we're gonna need some... Joint plate right about here, maybe? like that. Oh, there's still quite a few eggshells here. Are we actually keeping up with... Well, if we still have plenty of oxygen, then yes, we're keeping up with deleting the hydrogen so that we can keep doing electrolysis. That seems fine. Still 11.6 cycles till we can play with this. Um, can we hurry up with this wire? Because I would really like to place airlock door. Just a sec. Okay. Colony achievement earned. What do we do? Apparently I already looked at it. Oh, it's starting to take shape. I do want to run the heavy watt wire down. That's going to take some building. Um, 
And I'd better pay attention to replacing this airlock. With the conductive joint plate. Oh, apparently I've asked for all of our copper. That is hard to believe, but maybe, I guess. Wow, it's actually empty in here. That's kind of cool, in a way. I mean, it's literally cool compared to the temperature the copper might otherwise be. 10.4 tons at 28 degrees Celsius. And apparently we've got all of it queued up to be used. Very, very important we get those two done. I can't believe we've got 10 point something tons of copper queued up to be used already. I guess the wire adds up. Alright. Not excited about any of this, but I guess a port seat is fine. Sporikin, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can we get this belt as well. So much fun though, always something new to do, indeed. <laughs> Haven't even been able to get into space. Very new, yeah. I'm pretty new to the game still, honestly. Although, to a complete beginner, my saying that might seem like excessive humility to the point that it's kind of like a humble brag or something. But I still feel like I've got a galaxy of stuff to learn about this game still. Okay. Oh, I didn't replace. We've still got 10 cycles, don't panic. Uh, we need a liquid vent here. And I think that's it, honestly. Except we don't need this automation stuff. I'm sure they'll get that done within 10 cycles. And speaking of things they will get done, let's head in here. And I would like a ladder. I might just add a ladder over this end as well, if only to make sure they finish the build. Um, and I actually like them to get rid of all this also. 36 hours for reference, I think it might just be small read. <laughs> no, no, this is a difficult game to learn. Oh hey, this is, uh, this is empty. Let's decon that. Uh, and I kind of want this done as a slightly higher priority. What's our bottleneck over here? Temperature. Okay. I'm not overly concerned about this, to be honest. I don't remember a jumping Joya being here. Did a pip plant it? Oh, 
we got two solar panels done. It's actually not that hard to get the solar panels built. Believe it or not, even though, unless they changed something, even though this is all going to be gas and in a room with steam turbines, um, the solar panels aren't going to gain any heat at all. The solar panels themselves are technically in a vacuum. Is the database in game a lot? Yeah, definitely. Although, as someone who decided to play only blind as far as I could, as in not going to a wiki, not learning anything off of YouTube videos or anything, um, trying to figure out the game just from what is actually in the game, including the database, there are more than a couple of things where the database just falls short. Sometimes you'll click on something, go to the database, and it'll just say entry not found. Uh, that's the most straightforward example. Oh, now we're... Now we're outputting? I guess that's fine, actually. But we'll find out when this thing's gonna stop. If we need to, to finish this build. No, it looks like, it looks like we can kind of go around it without letting any steam out. Nice. Just wanted to get power, right? Yeah, getting things to the point where, uh, like where we are now, for instance, where we've got everything basically working and we can keep chipping away at new projects, uh, it's quite the hurdle. One thing that helped me immensely in my first game where I got through to like a thousand cycles is a cool salt uh, a slush geyser. Good luck finding one of those on your map, but if you do, you get like, I think it's negative 10 degree brine coming out of the volcano, and you can use that to cool your base. Um, what I did this time, although it took a shockingly long time to find them, uh, is I used the anti-entropy thermo nullifiers to cool my base until I could get more deliberate, well, more active ways of doing it. So basically, we've got the electrolyzers that take in water, which you'll definitely find an infinite supply of. Um, they convert the water to oxygen and hydrogen. We use the hydrogen, incidentally, to get glossy Drecos so we can have plastic. I have this nifty little build right here where we squeeze in the maximum size stable uh, with a electrolysis room, electrolyzer, uh, and we're just using gravity to filter the gases. Uh, but hydrogen is up here, oxygen comes out down here. Uh, if this reservoir gets full, we eat hydrogen to make power. Um, but the excess hydrogen, I flow all the way around the base, and I run it through uh, anti-entropy thermo nullifiers, which don't need electricity, they run off just hydrogen. They take a very small amount of hydrogen in, and I run the hydrogen past them with uh, thermo, with radiant uh, gas pipes. So the hydrogen gets quite cool and heads back toward the base at like negative 16 degrees. Uh, and then we just start cycling it through all sorts of places.
gotten like 60 max, indeed. <laughs> yeah, um, that is, without being dependent on a lucky, like, cold saltwater slush geyser, uh, that is probably the most easy, uh, thing to c help carry you through the mid-game that I could recommend going after. Because your base cooking is probably your biggest problem, right? You can figure out how to solve mo most problems in a fairly straightforward fashion, but, like, your base is just slowly getting hotter until you can't grow food, I suppose. Um, with this, you can at least keep that under control. God damn, that's the easiest? Yeah, I think that has to be the easiest way uh, early on to deal with heat. It's also by far the cheapest. And people will tell you that, like, gas uh, as a coolant is not that good, but, like, it's not nothing, and the cost is practically nothing. And you can easily set it up so that it's going to, like, automatically... It's going to automatically fill a loop that is going to be automatically going through everywhere without like oversaturating it so it doesn't um so that it doesn't move and here we've literally just got like a t intersection going into the nullifier and then a gas bridge going past it i mean so literally we're just we're just doing a 50 50 where it can go into the null fire and then continuing on. Uh, what is all this? Copper ore, ranching, farming, operating, irritable bow, don't care, decreased decor. No, I don't. I don't need you lowering the morale of everybody else. That would be ungood. All of these um tiles with something in them look very weird on the tops uh the top layer. Alright, uh so we've got that project slowly happening. This one Sheep they met is almost finished done uh, finished with the analysis. Fantastic. I guess the analysis doesn't really matter since we've already got the oh, I don't remember digging through that. Welp. That water is well and truly out of our way now. Oh well. Sparkle Streaker. Morpheus, look at him go. <laughs> Even at slow speed, it's pretty jerky watching him move around. It's, it's not exactly a smooth camera experience. The graphics slash mechanics in this game is phenomenal. Uh, what are we doing with liquid pump? There it is. Wait, how hot is this going to be? Potentially like ninety something degrees. Let's 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 pretend the water could be one hundred and ten degrees. Uh, seventy five plus fifty. That'll be fine. We'll use gold amalgam for this pump. And should be able to just connect it here, actually. Oh, uh, I think we want insulated pipe, though, so we're not warming up the base before before it gets to here, where we're we have a lot more thermal mass, and we're always trying to cool it as well. 
So, insulated pipe. Just through there seems fine. And maybe I should make this insulated. Yes. And then I need the automation wire. Maybe I should use some lead for this. We're very, we're technically very low in copper. Can I just dig through here? Is that okay? It's going to mess up the pathing with the uh, Atmo suits. I wish we could do some remote transmission of signals. How about I do this through here? That seems like it would be okay. So basically the same logic for adding more water to the system. Either the temperature's low enough, or we're desperately low on water. And we'll add this wire when the time comes, once it's all done. So are we actually out of copper? There's still 2.4 tons sitting here, so it's difficult to believe. When's, when's our next copper eruption? Not for 42 cycles. How about natural gas? 6.3, we're getting there. What temperature does plastic melt again? 159, that's not that hot. Let's get this out of there. I, th I think we've already got the natural gas... Yeah, we've got the natural gas generators already. And apparently we've already got some natural gas in here. Not a whole lot. Why is this pump running right now? Oh, there's no automation stuff on it yet. Whoops. That might be why. Are we trying to keep a vacuum in here or what? I was trying to remove gas from here earlier, but... Well, what do we get? We get natural gas, which just gets farted out of this machine, so we have to suck it in with a pump. We get... Carbon dioxide, I think, comes out here directly. Borikin, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The petroleum... Uh, petroleum generators spit out a lot of carbon dioxide, actually. What was that for? Green napka? No, 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 we're good. Also, I wanted to check... Turns solid at negative 50, sour gas at 538.9. Mr. Mycelium, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
practically no thermal conductivity, specific heat capacity is mediocre. Not a very good coolant, except for the fact that it can go down to negative 50. And, yeah. Temperature range isn't bad. Compared to crude oil, 2.2, 0.2. Uh, 10 times, crude oil has 10 times the thermal conductivity. I think we'll stick with this if we want a cheap coolant. Specific heat's not that high, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. What was that notification, though? Oh yeah, I didn't give people their snazzy suits. Let's see, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people? Without nice suits? I think we need a few more snazzies. SHC greater than TC for coolants? SHC. Oh, we got that plastic ladder all the way up here already. That's nice. Uh, and this... Conductive wire is almost finished. So how much copper is still lying around? 2.4 tons. It still says we have zero. I find that hard to believe. Who knows where it's queued up to be used? Oh, they can't get in here? Wait, wait, wait. We don't want to let them through there. Actually. Not yet. Wait, they can go through there. Never mind. Is this not the same... Oh. Oh. I already accidentally had that pathing loop. Okay, um, can we block this off? Typically what you're cooling is going to have a lower thermal conductivity than most coolants. Yeah, the throughput... The throughput that you need... Oh, why is this happening? The throughput that you need to cool things, the heat throughput, is not that high. Uh, what's going on here? Awaiting delivery... It doesn't say what happened. Smart battery is damaged. It's made out of copper. Is that the problem? 125 degrees. Yes. Yes, it is. I'm surprised we haven't seen this happen before. Um, let's hurry up and replace that with something that won't overheat. Really? And replace it with the steel one. Sure, just let 10,000 jewels flow into it before you decon it. We've actually got 1,200 steel, including subtracting what we've already queued up to be used, apparently. Just ban them? <laughs> Uh, what are we printing? What are we printing? Uh, cooking, decorating, ranching... Not really. Just respond to everything they say with... What are we talking about? 
tried to use ice temp shift plates to cool the steam to water. Yeah, that makes sense. Ice temp shift plates. Alright, is this gonna get built? And eventually, I guess. How soon until this erupts? 4.4 cycles. Wait, is this not powered? It is powered. Why does it... Oh, it's a graphical thing. It'll fix itself once someone uses it, just once. I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure that door is fine, actually. Morpheus! Thank you very much for the gifted subs. Much appreciated. Yes, this is as good of a time as any. Thanks for the entertainment over the last year. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you as well. Uh, Trumi Mildora? Mildorado? Lota? Or Ayo? Der, der, to that is das ist Deutsch. Ich nicht sprechen Sie Deutsch sehr gut. Der der Twitch site Seat site and awesome. Hope you enjoy. Uh, thank you so much, Morpheus. Again. Uh, ten gifted subs, damn. And that's what ten for the channel. Thank you so much. The one who sees slash watches Twitch. Yeah, that's that makes sense. Let me read that again. Dare dare Twitch see it. Dare dare Twitch see it. I thought German would be like basically just substitution. Like you just learn the vocabulary, and if you know English, you now know German. But apparently there are some. Uh, Grammatical differences, perhaps? Some syntax differences? I did manage to make it worse with the additional steam. Rut row. Yeah, steam can be an explosive good time. They still haven't finished this. Oh well, it's fine. It's just our it's just our like backup infinite water source. Nearly correct, except it's more like sit instead of siet in terms of pronunciation. So like sit, kind of like S-I-T, but with a like semi-silent H squeezed in there. And nowhere to go. Non-default clothing. Nice. Yeah, I'm not... Uh, I don't have the kind of... How can I put this? Academic stamina for it. But uh, something of a language nerd rubbed off on me. Can I just... Nope, that's not how that works. Yeah, semi-silent H, but long, I guess? Uh, see it. Okay, see it. Oh, did we already connect the automation wire? No. No, we did not. Why are they taking so long to do this? Oh wait, the automation wire default is red, so it should be fine if we just connect this already. Yeah, that'll be fine. It actually won't work until the logic is connected. What is random glass doing here still? I guess because we didn't 
consume it. They can't get there, need another ladder. Need another ladder? But the... Oh, tree. I thought you meant like vertically they couldn't get there. I can't believe I didn't see that. Okay, why is everyone... Oh, is that oxygen? Oh, no. Oh, no. Why do we have so much CO2 in here? Oh, God. Uh, it's not flowing down here as quickly as one might imagine. Can we maybe... Can we maybe... Dump more CO2 down this way? Because I'm not liking this whole arrangement. When it use a carbon skimmer? Uh, I just pump it out, send it to space. Like, compare... We use some logic to only pump when we detect quite a bit of CO2. So that's 240 watt for, I think, 500 grams per second. And that's the only input is electricity. Carbon skimmer is only 120 watt. It only deals with 300 grams per second though, so that's actually a lot less efficient. And it also costs... Well, it doesn't cost water so much as it turns it into polluted water. I actually want more polluted water. Um, the thousand DTUs of heat I don't love, but that's probably about the same. This is double the heat. Yeah, I didn't realize uh, at this point, because I haven't used carbon skimmers for a while, I might actually want the polluted water because I want more polluted water to cycle so that the other trees get what they need. Nice, nice. Um, I might still keep sending some of this CO2 to space just because it's easier in a lot of places. CO2 is another resource you can't have enough of in the end? Really? I think it turns into polluted water once processed. No, it, it gives you... It pollutes water. So you run a thousand grams of water through... Uh, 300 grams of CO2. The CO2 somehow is deleted. And out comes a thousand grams of polluted water. And then we can, of course... Use the polluted water directly, and we can turn it into regular water. Um, again. Um, the carbon skimmer does have to have an actual gas input, right? It doesn't, like, suck CO2 out of the air. That would be too easy. We're already pumping polluted water over here, though. I think... Well, it's only 300 grams per second. How much CO2 can this place produce? 22.5 times 2 between the... Times 3 between the gas generators. Not that I think we need all three of them. Uh, these two can produce a hell of a lot more CO2. 500 grams per second each. So we would need... More than three carbon skimmers? Well, if these would be used continuously. These are actually backup generators. CO2 has pretty much zero value base game. In the Spaced Out DLC, it's a bit more valuable. In the super early game to get you into space. Interesting. Um, but yeah, I could certainly see myself... Uh, bothering to use a carbon skimmer more. What? How did I set up this pump? I never actually select. Oh, this was supposed to. 
just pump gas down here. Why don't we use it? If we have a carbon skimmer right about here, we could borrow water from this. And then polluted water needs to go here. I could make a little exception to what we've got set up this way. And then... Just connect that there. That seems fine. Oh, except I want the polluted water to make its way up to these arbor trees. To do that, I would have to bring it all the way over here. Uh, that's a little bit annoying. Hmm. I do have kind of like a main bus of polluted water here, but it all just goes straight back to the water CF. Yes. Come to think of it, it's very space inefficient. But having having two pipes, one for each direction, might make more sense for some of these liquids in future. But that uses up so much space. I guess I just have to get a guess over here. We're going to have to add some spaghetti pipe, and I don't love it, but it could be worse. It's probably fine. And we'll want the gas input to just go to here. It'll either be top left or top right. I can't actually see... Oh yeah, bottom left. Oh wait, that's the liquid input. Wait, does the carbon skimmer just suck CO2 out of the atmosphere? Huh. Oh, I see. Liquid intake, liquid output. It doesn't have a gas input. It sucks a lot, indeed. <laughs> well then. I guess we'll just leave it there. That probably will be fine. Place a few at the bottom of your base and all CO2 will congregate, indeed. Hmm. Always good to revisit the stats of these things after you learn a bit more. Ooh, we're actually sort of like a third done, kinda. And this thing's sitting here producing heat. Uh, let's not do that. Let, let's, let's actually not sit here heating up indefinitely. Wait, what? It's... Nothing's... Uh, nothing's consuming its charge, so it's still just sitting there warming up. Oh no. Oh no. 
No, 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 no. No, please stop. Somehow, it's doing a perpetual motion machine. It's just holding onto this energy indefinitely. Infinite heat? Yeah. This is literally just a free heat machine. Um... I, I think... Okay, you would need to spend 200 steel for each... For each transformer. They, they produce the same amount of heat, by the way. So these are a bit smaller. These would be a bit better. But you could literally just have a bunch of transformers sitting around. Uh, arbitrarily... Producing heat. To run some steam turbines. Now, if only liquid wouldn't make it explode, else you'd have an easy way to make steam. Uh, it doesn't explode, though. Like, I've got one of these in a steam room down here. You just have to make sure it doesn't get cold enough to turn to water. Or, I mean, not too much water. So, yeah. Can we please get this deconned before it reaches 275 degrees, though? <laughs> Could have sworn liquids made them... splody? Might be mistaken. I guess so. I mean, they could get flooded, I imagine. I'm surprised disconnecting... Well, it wasn't exactly disconnecting. I bet if we deconstructed the two pieces of wire... Actually, now I'm really curious. What happens if... We rebuild this in the same spot? And we don't give it any power. I presume it wouldn't generate heat. But then once we give it power and then just disconnect it again like we did, it'll just sit there producing heat forever. Unless you put a power consumer here and empty it, and then it would probably stop producing heat. Can use it and pull the heat off of it and push it into metal tiles and use the tiles for the steam. That's true. But I don't think you need to do it that way. Researching, doctoring, operating, don't care. Let's have some omelettes. Cool, cool. That is a lot of excess poker shells. So is this also... no? Okay, what is getting damaged here? This is not CO2 or something. I didn't think it was earlier. Um, how do I see if something... Is it Harvey? I don't think Harvey's hurt. I think I looked for this last time. Yeah, no one's... Oh, wait. Assign triage cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Harvey is hurt. What? Harvey, why are you hurt? And now you're not hurt. Okay. It's a wire? We've only got heavy what conductive wire here. Potential load is like a quarter, if that. Okay, I'll shut up. <laughs> no worries. Um, I'm thinking it's maybe the generator, because that's in the middle of this. But like... I don't know why it would have any problems. Oh, did we finish that research insofar as we can? Yeah, let's... Let's turn that off so we stop having the missing research station message. 
Also, we still haven't dug over here for the exploration. Did we finish this build? We did. Fantastic. I could potentially... No, that's fine. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's our input water. For the carbon skimmer. Pipe blocked. What kind of pipe? Oh, this isn't built yet. Well, there's your problem. Okay. Ooh, point 0.8 cycles. Well, let's go. Let's -a go. We've got quite a bit of... Wait, how, how far can I push this? way beyond the edge of the map. Okay. So the edge of the map should be like here, I would guess. Let's see what we can see. We've got a whole bunch of eggshells and stuff that we could access over here as well. Also a mob. I don't want to access a mob. Oh yeah, we can... I mean, I could put these airlocks here already, but I really don't think it's necessary. Also, the large power transformer is going to cook itself again. Just kill the mob? That seems needlessly cruel. Um, before I forget, I want some... It's not temp shift plates so much as... Is it under... Uh, which category is it under? Base? Drywall. It's got a new graphic. Um, we're going to need drywall in these rooms. Not where the airlock goes. Because we're going to need to keep some gas in them. That's going to take a while, of course. Didn't I just set priority here to four? Okay, there we go. Here we go. 20 seconds. Next activity, 22 seconds. It seems to be frozen. Oh, here we go. Erupts in 0.2 cycles. Cool, cool, cool. And we'll probably need to put some more water in here, maybe. Eighty seconds, hype. Let's go. All right, here it is. Natural gas and nothing else in this room. Once we get to, I believe it is 1000 grams per tile, give or take, we're gonna start pumping it through here. Coolant loop, heat up this room, run steam turbine to delete the heat. Uh, 
and we'll just check that that's all working. There it is. Uh, probably don't need... a notification for that every two seconds. Oh, is it already working? 60 degrees... 27 degrees. Uh, yeah, that was quick. Looks like the cooling loop can more than keep up with the actual geyser. Alright, let's get rid of this notification. Don't really need that anymore. And how's our water temperature? 57... Almost 58 degrees. Cool, cool, cool. Seems good. You know what? We might as well... We might as well take more heat out of the... Uh... Why am I blanking on this? Uh, out of the natural gas. Why not? It's not going to be very expensive. Send it up at a temperature where it'll actually cool this area off a little bit. I mean, I could turn all of this into insulated pipe. I don't know how necessary that really is. If we're cooling this area, it's going to cool this area a little bit eventually. Alright, so we got a bit of natural gas coming in. There's our electricity, not to mention some more CO2 and polluted water. And that is actually a bit of a water supply as well. So it all goes into the machines first. If it goes past the machines, it goes into the room, basically for storage. Uh, hopefully, we can actually accumulate some natural gas. Maybe not. Maybe I should put in a actual gas reservoir. I could even put it down here. Maybe it could go into the gas reservoir and then into the machines. Or into the machines and then into the gas reservoir and then back into the machines, kind of, and into the room as a last resort. There are a number of ways we could go about it. Obviously not that efficient if... Why are you not working? Generator idle disabled by automation grid because we've got enough power. Okay, that works. I guess we're going to be accumulating natural gas sooner than expected. Building, doctoring, ranching... No thanks. Okay. How's our space project coming? 
slowly as expected. I mean, it's a kind of a big project and it's pretty far away, so what can you expect? We've actually got 1600 steel, or make it 1400 available right now. I could go ahead and expand even further and get ahead of our build here. I haven't actually done the logic. We're going to need... Would it actually be okay if I put the uh, space scanner up here? In fact, could we have many space scanners up here? That'd... That might be awesome, actually. And I don't need a separate build for them. And they're gonna have... Maximum uh, quality of scanning, right? Started using space spacefarer modules for storage and utilities. Spacefarer modules. Uh, why don't I do like one per solar panel potentially? That might be cool. So we'll need the automation wire, uh, basically a knot gate from the space scanner to say if this media is coming, close the door. It is the TARDIS? Parts of the rockets. Oh, okay. Can you use those for like infinite storage or something? I'm going to be very pleased if it turns out this is just a really, really good synergy. And there isn't something that I'm missing here. We don't need a separate build for the space scanners. We can literally just put them as part of the solar panel build. And we can have as many as we like. And they're going to have no obstructions as close to space as we can reasonably get. I'm obviously going to have to add some... Uh, what are they called? Induction panels? Oh, I can't... Wait, what? Hold on. Can I not put a conduction panel on top of this? I can. So what's wrong with this spot? Oops. Conduction panel. I think it was literally just that there was already pipe there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, because you can't use this like a bridge. Okay, cool. That's fine. I guess we put it here. That seems fine. And we don't need any complicated open, close, open for these bunker doors this time, right? Because we've got these mesh tiles covering the robo miners, and the robo miner from the side can reach up here. Um, I'm pretty sure the chances of the robo miners getting stuck is practically zero. You have a very soothing voice, thank you. Uh, Sol Sh Sol Shinnery, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
I appreciate that compliment, especially while I'm getting overexcited about this, uh, this possible build. It can be nice for storing things that you might want to irradiate. For raising shovels. That is one thing that makes me want to try out the, um, the DLC, actually. Is... Nuclear power? It has nuclear power, right? Because I've heard the way we do nuclear power is shockingly simple. The safety part of how we deal with nuclear power is not shockingly simple. But the way that we exploit spicy rocks for heat is actually shockingly simple. It does? Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I wouldn't mind trying some practical messing around with something pseudo, you know, slightly pseudo-realistic with that, with a video game. Especially, like, Oni would seem to be the perfect candidate. The big challenge is the safety, and things can go horribly wrong. Has our carbon skimmer been working? It, it has. Not very much, apparently? What's its problem? Oh, it's surrounded by oxygen. Uh, okay. I didn't expect that to be the reason. <laughs> that's That's been working pretty well. Um... I guess I'll just put another one... Over here? Oh wait, what's this pipe? Uh, we don't need this anymore. Let's get rid of that. And we'll have some water. Like this. And same output pipe. Nuclear power is very easy to do, yeah. I think if we just suck up CO2 from here, eventually this will have no CO2. It was almost anticlimactic how well this worked. We got 6.1 kilograms of steam per tile. That's not a whole lot. Uh, it's only at 105, 107 degrees. We could put more water in here, but like... There's not a whole lot of thermal mass in here, but the thermoregulators... Well, they're supposed to be doing 14k DTU of heat each. That's if they go constant. It, it depends, doesn't it, because of what we're putting in. I don't think I've ever seen anyone use thermoregulators in a build before. I just want to cool down the, uh, the natural gas before we send it up to our base that we don't want to cook. That's all. So we're just going to take that heat, put it in here, and automatically delete it, that's all. They're quite cheap. 240 watts each. I added a solar and then built two stacks of battery modules. Ten modules each. I do not have power issues. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Um, batteries. We were talking about using power transformers to just arbitrarily generate heat. Um, because when I connected this, when it had joules in here, because there was no consumer on the other end, this was sitting here just generating heat indefinitely. But like... Batteries? Both transformers generate the same amount of heat, 1000 GTUs. Uh, 
Smart batteries produce 500, and you also get the utility of it being a battery. And it costs the same amount of steel. So, just filling a steam room with smart batteries, that's, that's some free energy right there. Thermoregulators regulators are often avoided because even running hydrogen, they're about one-fifth of the watt efficiency. Yeah, of course. But the, um, the thermo aqua tuners are 1200 watts. Or at least 1200. How much is it? Yeah, 1200 watts. That is a problem early on. A big problem. You can't even get 1200 watts on a regular piece of wire. Um, and it's also just a lot of power. Uh, also, also, if you're really keen, this was kind of an experiment, but we, here we've got passive cooling, because the water uh, takes a little bit of a long path with uh, radiant liquid pipes past the steam turbines. Uh, we've also got two kinds of ac active cooling. This is really unnecessary, but I just found it kind of amusing. Uh, also, to start with, I just kind of had the thermoregulators. Because I wanted to see if I could do passive cooling here, but I wanted a backup. So at first I had the usual layout of like... I think it's like this. Uh, with the radiant pipes behind the steam turbine. And then you can have the gas pipes on top of them. Um, but yeah, I mean, the main point of... What do we got here? Doctoring, researching, farming... Let's just take a shine nymph. The main point of the thermoradiators usually is it's just cheaper. Like, it, it, it's, it allows you to do active cooling on a smaller scale, a smaller temper uh, smaller power cost scale. But in this case it is literally just the gas that I want to cool. Power is free in this game? Not at first. I mean we're we're creeping towards post scarcity, but we're not there yet. How's this build looking? I want to get this built because I just want to confirm what the settings on it look like again. They still lose power? Batteries used to lose power. Yeah, yeah, they do lose power. It's not much though. We did the math. It is tiny. In fact, the heat that you get back if you put batteries in a steam room, uh, it, is, it is net positive um, that you're gaining electricity. The 400 joules per cycle is almost completely negli uh, negligible. It's free if you're masochistic like me and use hamster wheels. I, I wouldn't call duplicate labor time... I mean, it's all free, right? It all just costs time, but... Well, let me put it this way. Everything in Oni is zero dollars. Not a single dollar is spent on this asteroid. It's net positive, cool. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we did the math on stream. Um, basically... Uh, I need to know what these units are again. The DTUs, they're kind of a... I think you have to literally look up the wiki to see what these strange... Units are slave labor in school. That's not slave labor. They're they're working for their own benefit, making a nice, nice, cool place to to live. Right, right. Do do you not think Buvim wants to see this cool solar panel build get done?
No. Prove him. Oh no. Alright, I'm taking you off building duty then. Just kidding, I would never do that. Can we not get the... Oh, we need the window tiles built first so we can reach this. A couple of them anyway. DTU is equivalent to a jewel. Oh, really? Okay, that makes it kind of easy, doesn't it? Uh, I can't really do this kind of math in my head, though. It's pretty easy if you lay it out as algebra and just, you know, put the fractions in the right places and move the things around. Um... Five, okay, if, if that's 500 joules per second, I'm pretty sure we can agree that 400 joules per cycle is a lot less. How many seconds? I think this is 10 minutes, right? 10 minutes per cycle? Or is it like 6 or 12 or something? Time played 43.87 hours. Well, surely it's more than 10 minutes. I can't remember how much time is in a cycle. Capturing the heat is energy positive, yeah. If this is a joule... If this is 500 joules per second, then that is astronomically positive. It's like 99% positive, right? Cycle is 600 seconds. Okay, so 600 times 500 is, let me just double check, it is definitely more than 400. Can confirm. Wait, 400 joules per cycle of this battery's charge will be lost as heat? As heat? We get it all back. Bruh. <laughs> Even that I mean, it, it's, you know, we probably don't get that back with perfect efficiency turned into electricity, but, like, even a fraction of the lost power comes back to us. Yeah, it's minuscule, but also it comes back as heat. But yeah, if you're so inclined, uh, masses of batteries in a steam room are indeed free electricity. At free, you know, except for the upfront labor and materials, like everything. Okay, so what's next? I'm, I'm, in a way, I'm almost disappointed that this little project just works. I had to wait so long to see it happening, and now I, I don't have to do anything with it, you know? As far as I can tell, no tweaks are required here. At what atmospheric pressure does this stop? It's like 150 kilograms, right? Yeah, we're not going to get close to that. Even less considering that turbine consumes 877,590 DTU. So 877 kilo DTUs producing 850 watts. Well, that's in ideal conditions, yeah. How much power does it output? 5k. Yeah, only if the steam is 200 degrees. If you have a heat source that's slowly raising the steam temperature, uh, it's not giving you more watts overall if you wait for the steam to get hotter, right? Or is it? Does it say anything about... Do 
does it actually turn heat into energy more efficiently if we do it at a higher temperature? Kind of does. Oh, really? Is it enough to pay the difference of... If you have enough steam turbines over a heat source to to do passive cooling only versus if you let it get to 200 degrees you will therefore need active cooling uh i would presume it's worth the trouble if it's more efficient to do the 200 degree steam to pay the electricity to do the active cooling right Just run it under 200. Anything over 200 will waste heat. Okay, so run it at like 195 or something. You can also close off some of the vents. Some of the vents. No waste but transferred to the turbine itself. Well, that's kind of bad. You have to spend the energy to cool that, so you could call it waste that way. Also, RPHL stream, it's good to see you again. You're welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So steam turbines have five vents underneath. Oh, you can, like, block them. As opposed to turning the steam turbines on and off. I feel like it'd be tidier just turning the turbines on and off, right? How hot is this stuff? Very hot. It'll still work with down to two exposed. Hmm. Lots of food for thought today. Next dormancy isn't for 111 cycles. We I, I can't believe we only found one natural geyser, natural gas geyser so far this game. Last time we had four, I believe it was. We were definitely luckier last time. We had copper, gold. I didn't find a volcano volcano though. Uh, copper, gold, four natural gas vents. And... I Think of what else we had. I'd love to find an iron one. Is that possible? And why is it taking so long to explore this? Is this not reachable? Oh, it's it's not reachable. That's why. Steam turbines do actually delete heat. Yeah, they do. You never have to worry about the heat uh, from the electrical wires in this game. I mean, I think you've got enough to worry about in oxygen not included, right? You could maybe make it more complicated and realistic with mods, but like... Imagine the learning curve if it was that much more realistic to begin with. If every time you made, as a newbie, some electrical stuff, it just fried something for reasons unknown. Can this not be built? Invalid build location. Oh, we need the... It's probably just because we need the window tile underneath it. All consumers are heat deletion devices. Include conservation of energy and you play with the sure knowledge eventually. <laughs> oh no. If it's above 200, it'll transfer to the turbine to coolant and back to steam room, making it looping. Except you'll have to pay the electricity to make that happen. 
this game has a fun crowd. Yeah. Alright, can we build this? Insufficient resources, copper 25 kilograms. Uh, really? So are we actually, actually out of copper? Oh, we are. Oh no. When does this erupt? 27 cycles. That's not that long. We do have a bunch of regular old copper ore lying around. Um, we could make some copper ore as a treat. I mean, regular copper. Hold up, is this... Oh, we've actually got two tons of steel here. We've stopped making steel because our steel request is full. I was not expecting that one. Let's expand over this way. Because just for the sake of... Uh, just for the sake of using this machine without messing around too much with the automation and stuff. Uh, I would like to make, let's say, one ton of copper. I have way too much water? Surely that's not possible. Unless your entire base is drowning. Maybe then. This, uh, this water reservoir has never been even remotely full, this game. Not even once. I suppose... I suppose I could put in another Thermo Aqua Tuna. If we're not actually bottlenecking on electricity that much. Yeah, we've got the natural gas. Um, I think we should take advantage. We'll use this to cool our base a bit more. Which will let in more water, automatically. And we still haven't made any copper here. Oh, because we haven't taken the steel away yet. That's why. Yeah, there it is. We're down to 1800 steel, so the touch plate has stopped emitting a red signal. If you go really hard on oil boiling, you can end up with immense amount of water by the end. Oil boiling. Not aware of that one. Output pipe full. Oh, I see. That's... Oh. Okay. Can I... I think I see a way I could prioritize this. Insulated liquid pipe, deconstruct. So that should give priority to the machine outputting crude oil, right? as opposed to this stuff looping. Yes? Alright, cool. Oh, we're gonna see it in action right now. Perfect. Yes. That's exactly what I want. Is what I like to see. Alright. So did we get more copper? I think we did. We got 100 kilo more copper. This is taking longer than I would like. Maybe I should use some... 
I should probably use lead here. You know, I used to use lead just all over the place, somewhat carelessly. But as long as we take our time and think about it, make sure it's not in a place where it's going to reach, um... Uh, 327 degrees Celsius? Then it should be fine. If this reaches 327 degrees Celsius, uh, we're gonna have other problems, like... Our steel... Thermo aqua tuners and batteries taking damage. Long before that happens. I mean, we do have an infinite... Oh, here it is. Yes, meteor showers. I don't even have anything else I can select here. Sends an automation signal when meteor showers are detected. Green signal when it's detected. Yeah, so I recalled correctly. We need a nut gate coming from this. Do you have a tutorial for this? Uh, no, I never really thought of myself as that good at owning yet that I would make tutorials. Uh, but thank you for the indirect compliment. We're not going to connect these yet. Uh, should I make it out of anything other than copper? I don't think so. Copper... it should be like a thousand degrees. The melting point, right? Yeah, 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 1083. That should be fine. I won't queue it up just yet, though. Because we've got a shortage of copper for the moment, for like, what, 20 cycles or something? 25.3 cycles till we get more refined copper. Best advice is try to survive? Yeah, uh, as I said before, my advice... The, the main problem you're going to run into that is not barely obvious to solve uh, to get yourself through the mid-game so you can get to the point where I am, where I'm not that great yet, but I, I have the luxury of doing these projects. Uh, look for a Thermo Aqua Tuner. It costs very little hydrogen to run run hydrogen through radiant pipes nearby and loop it back into your base to cool your base. If you're very lucky, like I was, one run, um, my first run where I got to like a cycle a thousand or whatever, is you'll find a cool salt slush geyser. It'll output at negative 10 degrees. Just run that through your base. That alone is going to help a lot. If you're lucky enough to find it. Um, but yeah, if you have a, if you have an electrolyzer running, take that excess hydrogen that you don't delete with a hydrogen generator, loop it around your base, run it through a thermo aqua tuner, and you should at least be able to cool your base enough to survive for long enough to figure out a lot more. What are we printing? Copper ore? Doctoring, ranching, tidying, not really. I'll take some copper. Two tons. They still haven't done another hundred kilos of copper here. Bruh. Isn't this supposed to be high priority? And it's green? What's the problem? Nothing but copper ore for input. We've got 20 tons of that. 
Oh, it doesn't have. Oh, we haven't called the therm. Uh, we haven't called the. I almost said thermofluid. That would be space exploration. Uh, we haven't called the uh, crude oil yet. Well then. Up until now, and this is really only to make steel, uh, up until now I've just been bottlenecked on material inputs, like lime in particular. Uh, so the idea of being bottlenecked on cooling... Why is that going in at 194 degrees? What have I got this set to? 200. Yeah, we're literally just trying to keep the crude oil cold enough that it doesn't flash. Okay then, I guess. But yeah, this is the first time I've actually been bottlenecked on cooling the damn coolant. Uh, I guess that makes sense. I did ask for a lot more than usual to be done all of a sudden, and that was after we suddenly got like 2,000 steel. Big tons. What are those radiant pipes made of? Um, probably lead, since that's what I had the most of around the time I built them. Uh, copper, actually. These ones are made of copper. Which is just as well, because I saw some crude oil over 300 degrees. Why, when I zoom out, is the panning slow now? It's kind of weird. Anyway, we'll have more copper in 24 cycles without going through the process of refining it. Still getting natural gas for another 107. Very cool. So I just want to think this through, because previously I had more complicated builds, but I'm pretty sure we're literally just doing a knot gate from these things. Scan quality 0% because we're underneath this stuff, but it still will detect meteor showers, maybe a little bit slower than usual. Aloha, Kevin. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Actually, you know what? I kind of want to put a notification here. Because I'm curious. Oh, that's lead. Don't, don't do lead. Not even... Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt for this little temp build, but I'd rather not like, accidentally copy this wire and make a lead thing later. Uh, but yeah, even though we won't be using this for a while, I'd like to see... how much... Even while this this regolith up here, how much lead time we get with this thing signaling that meteors are coming. See that just got turned to lead. God damn it. That's exactly the sort of thing I was trying to avoid. At least I can set this up now. Uh, meteor... It is meteor, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meteor shower. Meteor shower detected. Maybe just soon. Okay. 
Okay, what else should we be doing? I don't understand... Oh, this is unreachable? Oh, it is too. Well, there you go. Now I do understand. Want to do some more exploring here. How about some ladder? Oh, what's this? Oh, hello. What do we have here? Can't believe I missed that. Let's do a little sneaky. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, at the same moment, we detected meteor showers. <laughs> that was unexpected. What did we find here, though? A carbon dioxide vent again? Why is it called GQ442? Bracket 1. Small CFG? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Are you playing on survival? Yes. Yes, I am. They're named now? Because of the geotuners. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, where are the geotuners? I haven't had a look at those yet. Um, and I guess I'll run a ladder down next to this. Hang on, can I find it myself? Geotuner. We've already researched it. Increases the temperature of an and output of an analyzed geyser. Um, yes, please. I hope I won't have to add more steam turbines to support some of the geysers that I've already set up, though. Um, but where do I find it? Stations? Utilities? It's not going to be under furniture, surely. Base? Anyone know where Geotuner is? Stations. Oh, I see it. Wow. So do you actually put it on top of this? I, I would imagine not. How does this work? Increases the temperature and output of an analyzed geyser. Multiple geotuners can be directed at a single geyser anywhere on an asteroid. Dedicated room laboratory. Okay. I'm glad we don't have to build them next to the, um... Uh, next to the geysers. I think that was a wise decision by the devs. Because people are going to have, uh... People are going to have builds like this one, for example. Uh, and who knows what kind of clutter, what, what kind of spaghetti base built all around this thing. Uh, there might literally not be room to build the Geotuna somewhere. Yeah, I forgot they'd added some new rooms. Uh, let's see what we've got. Latrine, washroom, I think those were already in there. Luxury barracks, private bedroom, I forgot about this. Um, two decor items. Single comfy bed. That's basically it. Uh, does this count? Luxury barracks, yeah. We did it. Uh, I guess the comfy bed counts as a decor item? Nice. I didn't even have to add anything. Yours are a bit too small? Wait, what? Room size 16. Minimum size 12. It's not private. Oh, private. 24 tiles. That's 8 more than this. So I could make them taller? Or I could make them wider? Uh, if I made them 5x5, five five, that'd be arguably wasting one tile. 
Luxury barracks is not private bedroom. Yeah, whoops. How much morale do we get? Plus one, plus two, plus three. Okay. Um, uh, what else do we have that's new? I think it's just the lab. Two science buildings, light source, no industrial machinery, at least 32 tiles. Okay. Could I convert this into the science room, perhaps? I've just had random stuff here this whole time. I haven't done a kitchen yet, either. Spice grinder, electric grill, refrigerator, no mess table, maximum 96. I think I should make that uh, the kitchen right next to the Great Hall. And I don't really have anywhere... I could do the science room here, I guess. Can we put... no. I need to fix this mess. This temp build that's been here for 400 cycles. I guess let's get to it. The plus one bonus, I'd say it's not worth it. At this stage, yeah, I agree. Probably. It does generate a lot of heat. Uh, which does? Plan ahead? What, the, uh... The Geotuner? 4.5 kilo DTUs, okay. I might have to run some... Some coolant through that. Should have more mesh tiles? I think we're fine. The dupes don't like the look of them. The dupes hate the look of anything that helps them survive. Except for beds, I guess. Paper Chumper. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, there's heavy watt conductive wire there. Uh, but that was literally just for these deodorizers. I think we can probably get rid of that. Also, atmosuit docks and steam turbines for some reason. What? Dupes love sporchids. Should add those to their rooms. Sporchids. Oh, you mean those um, terrifying... I think we found one of those down here somewhere. Here it is, Sporchid. It's just a seed now, probably because it got flooded. Lower unsuspecting victims into clouds of parasitic zombie spawns. Oh no. You can also set your doors to open and it still counts as a room. Oh yeah, sure. Whoops. Uh, I don't have a way to... Here we go. Like back to base. They do be looking good though. Okay, I think I want this to be the science room. I'll eventually make this the kitchen. And I'll have to figure out where I want to put Exosuit Forge and Textile Loom, I suppose. Uh, is this as big as the washroom can be? 64 tiles. Uh, yes, it is. I should put something over here. Maybe a shower room. Wait, is there a room for the shower? I don't think so. Plumbed wash, plumbed wash station, no outhouses. Does plumbed wash station include a shower? I would imagine yes. Probably. 
improves dupe morale. I should get on that. So what if we make this another 64 tile room? It would go to here, and it wouldn't line up with this quite right. And it would make me sad, but whatever. Uh, and I should move this ladder stuff. And I'll need to move this over one pile if I want to put in the maximum number of showers. Do we really need this many? Who cares? Well, actually, it probably makes no difference to the morale bonus, right? We'll see. Anyway, uh, one of the reasons I did that was I wanted to see where this would need to go. And... It's probably fine if we do it like this. That... It's going to be a slight problem, but not really. Showering takes time. Plan some space for light. They already spend most of their day in darkness. It's probably fine. Where's the light display? Oh, here it is. Yeah, not a whole lot of lights in the space. It's fine. I guess I could put lights in here. I've considered eating him into space. Binge eat a dupe too far and watch them eat 13,000 calories. That is... ooh. Alright, so how long until the asteroids actually come? Uh, long enough for these doors to close, as I recall, as long as they're powered. Yeah. Um. Seems to be fine. Oh, we got one of the robo miners done. All the solar panels are done. Cool, cool, cool. We'll need to run some hydrogen up here because I just like to put hydrogen in the room. Or wait a minute. Would it be too bold? I, I kind of want to try to run the experiment. Maybe I'll do it in sandbox. But what if? What if instead of having a room full of gas to cool our steam turbines, uh, we just used. Can I not find this conduction panel? How many conduction panels could we squeeze onto this thing? Well, we could very neatly squeeze three. One, two... Can't put pipes behind them. Three, four. That doesn't look very good. Forty percent stress slash cycle from wetting your suit. 
indeed. Conduction panel. Oh, is that new? Yeah. So we no longer we, we no longer need to pour oil or something uh, on our robo miners so that we can cool them. We can literally just run a fluid past them, and this basically connects to the building. Just like I always thought the radiant pipes should. Maybe someone was listening, or maybe... I, I imagine it would have to be a much more common complaint. Yeah, I think I can fit four of these at most, but I don't like the way it looks if I squeeze four in. Probably if we have three of them, that's more than enough. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if just one was enough. I'll play around with it in sandbox, but I'm thinking maybe we don't fill this room with hydrogen uh, just so that we can use the passive cooling. We can hopefully literally just have water from the output uh, cool the steam turbine using up to three or four conduction panels. liquids everywhere looked dumb. Yeah, definitely. Don't think you need that many. I hope not. Glad they did that. What's its cost? It's like one or two hundred. Yeah, it's one hundred uh, refined metal. We could use lead for this. If this is getting to 300 degrees, something is very, 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 very wrong. Uh, but I will run that experiment in Sandbox, rather than building this and then finding out the hard way it doesn't work, having to come and replace it. So I guess... Well, we've already built most of these drywalls, and the pipes aren't going to make much of a difference if I do change the build. We'll just leave this as it is for now. Uh, we've still got lots of steel. Let's keep it going. I don't know if we've, like, caught up on our desired throughput for steel, or if it's, like, a burst because we took all of these uh, eggshells that were over here. But either way, I'll take it. What are we printing? Hoftlet egg? Sure. Uh, so we should be able to fit this here. That seems fine. Give me a bridge. I said give me a bridge. And one more shower. Do you suppose eight showers is enough for 15 dupes? If they're not all on the same schedule. I also have room here to expand. Although it's a little bit more of a nuisance at this spot. Oh, there's our water going in, which means the temperature in here was lower. There it goes. It's just flicking up and down. Quite a lot, actually. I'm surprised how much it's flu uh, fluctuating. Uh, this room in general is kind of cool, but the water's still surprisingly warm. Well, we are bringing fairly warm water into it. Uh, 
and we don't have a whole lot of radiant pla this is another good ex uh, good example of why you might want to use um thermo regulators at least a little bit uh to cool this water area obviously we can do whatever we'd like with the uh gas pipes um but there's not a whole lot of room for well until the water level rises there's not a whole lot of room for radiant pipe that's touching the water. Pipe master at his best. That farm lol, it is just pipes behind pipes? Yes. Yes, what what what's the problem? Are, are you saying this is somehow not normal? I ask you, have you ever seen a more beautiful farm? Uh, that's how shower's done. Nice. Looks like they're good to go. So, does this mean we'll produce more polluted water from the dupes themselves if they also shower? And if it does, what does that imply about what was left on their bodies previously? <laughs> no, it is a 1.1? 1. 1? A 1 point... a 1 to 1? What? It is pretty in its own way. Th thank you. Can we pick this mess up? There we go. Uh, those showers seemed rather quick. How much more of our space build is... That's coming along. They're taking their sweet time on the window tiles because we're asking for diamonds. Which we have to haul up from down below. Okay, maybe not priority 9. Let's do 7. Now it is the time to peek at the dupes showering? What? What? But we... But they have privacy thingies. It's fine. No, nothing to worry about there. 20 cycles till we get more copper. Many cycles until we run out of natural gas. Oh, right, science room. Uh, so what was the maximum size for the science room? The lab? 120 tiles. That is kind of large. And is that the only path? No, that's fine. In fact, that'll fix the... Uh... That'll fix the issue where they have multiple paths through there. You might want to fix this, though. Cool, cool, cool. Let's put... Angry Deming. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, where are our science thingies? Research station, supercomputer, geotuner number one, and as far as I know, that's all we want so far. Um, thank you. Gonna need some power as well. I kind of don't. Well, this is gonna be the kitchen anyway, but I was gonna say I kind of don't like this uh, heavy watt conductive wire where the dupes do all this work. They're gonna be a little bit upset, Rose. 
Yeah, I should really start clearing out some of this early game clutter. Um, we actually got like five minutes left. Let's see if we can get something done. Uh, let me just move this storage and add a transformer. Do I really want a transformer decor negative 10? Well, it's a lot it it's a lot less negative rate uh, decor compared to all of the heavy watt conductive wire they're already walking fast. Uh, but yeah, let's do some heavy watt like so and then Productive way over here, I think. And don't forget the bridge. Wait, was that conductive lead? It was. Cool, cool, cool. Have you thought about making a sauna? I have not. Not this playthrough. Actually, I don't think I've ever made one yet. Why is Evil Pla hurt? 96 health. It's probably fine. Why can't I click on him? How is he hurt if he's in here? It's a mystery. Looks like the pips and the trees are doing a lot better. That's nice. Although it might have been temporary because we consumed all that carbon dioxide to make it happen. Fair enough. Um, I think I would like to replace this mess with a carbon skimmer though. Since it's never going to accidentally take in other gases. Speaking of getting rid of clutter. Um, we definitely want to leave that pipe there. Unless I run it through here, I guess. You plan on making one? Uh, no immediate plans, but sure, everything eventually on this map, I think. I'd even like to have a farm for every growable food, just for the hell of it. Or not just food, every growable plant. And maybe ranch every creature that's useful, potentially, even if it doesn't fit my uh, playstyle. So is this going to be a lab now? Oh, they didn't finish. How rude. You're going to bed. What the... Hold up. I'm pretty sure Shmua just, like, had a shower, got out, and then had a bit more of a shower. That was kind of odd. I've got plenty of room to expand over here without any difficulties. Why don't we do that and figure out exactly what we're going to put there afterward? I think I was thinking of expanding farms this way, but maybe that can wait. Why not just gut the asteroid? We'll get there eventually. I mean, we've actually dug out a not insignificant chunk of it. As is. Alright, is this a lab now? No? 120 tiles, two buildings. Uh, what are we missing? Light source. 
We need a light source. Paper Chomper, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Start with this one, and I want to see this done before we finish today. I just want it to be technically a lab. There's a light. Oh, can they even reach to... Yeah, they can come down this way. Game actually forces you to have a light? Yeah, rude, right? Someone gonna... Evil Plaza on the job. Uh, I can't keep up with him. Here we go. Beautiful. And this is a lab. Very cool. Actually, can we get this built? The Geotina? Astonishing rudeness? I know. Oh, we've got a lot of water coming in now. Which means our temperature down here is has been uh, below the target for more than a fraction of a second. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, here it is. So, I think someone said you could have multiple geotuners. That's why they have the numbers, yeah. Hold on. Can we see what all of the geysers are on the map just by having one of these? Oh, that's cool. Now I don't have to explore the entire thing to find out how sad or happy I am. So we've got... We know about these two already. I think it may be sorting them by how close they are? No. The cool steam vent is closer. Does it like... What's this one? This is the number of geotuners that are on this. Uh, we got salt water geyser, cool steam vent, copper volcano, we know about these. Natural gas geyser, regular volcano. All of these we've already exploited. Um, and then these grey ones are the ones we haven't analysed yet. There's a single leaky oil fissure. Don't know what that is. Or is that just this thing? Where is it? Oil reservoir? Is it calling it a leaky oil fissure? Or is that something else? I, I think it's probably something else. Double click to view this guy's... Oh, cool. Leaky oil fissure. It's this thing that I deliberately dug around, actually. Uh, outputs crude oil rather hot. That's going to be good to exploit. Um, chlorine gas vent, don't care. Carbon dioxide vent, don't care. Salt water geyser. That's another water source. I'm a little disappointed in our... We've only got one metal volcano. I mean, copper is nothing to sneeze at, but... Considering we had copper and gold last time, I'd really like to have iron, an iron volcano just once. I don't know if that's a thing or not. It does not show ones you have not discovered? Oh, really? So there's a... There's still a fool's hope that we may find, like, an iron volcano or something, yes? Uh, hold on a sec. This... Where was it? This volcano here. Priority not, uh, priority yes. 
carbon dioxide vent GQ44-2 bracket 1. Oh, actually, I'm going to forget some of that. Let me just... Let me do it this way. Uh, GQ44-2 bracket 1. Yeah, you're right. It's not listed. Okay. Alright, so there's a there's a little bit of hope left that we'll find some more useful volcanoes. Or geysers. Or both. I have iron volcanoes all the time, yeah. It's not like guaranteed on the asteroid, I imagine. We do get iron from space randomly, although it's not very quick. If we cover the entire map, if we exploit the entire surface for iron, it wouldn't be too bad. Is it refined? Yeah, it's refined. Okay. Alright, let's see who's streaming Oni today. We got... First time player with DLC. This one's just called Oxygen Not Included. I think I've raided Sahana before. I might do it again, honestly. Unless you guys want to see a first timer. Or is it first time with the DLC? Who knows? Nice meeting you. Uh, you too. Take care. And everyone else as well. Thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or the Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And until next time, stay safe. Tomorrow we'll be continuing with Space Exploration plus K2 for Factorio. Take care, Evil Pla. See you next time. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for watching.